The Wigner Eckert theorem is a theorem of representation theory and quantum mechanics. It states that matrix elements of spherical tensor operators in the basis of angular momentum eigenstates can be expressed as the product of two factors, one of which is independent of angular momentum orientation, and the other a klebsch gordon coefficient. The name derives from physicists Eugene Wigner and Karl Eckert, who developed the formalism as a link between the symmetry transformation groups of space applied to the Schrödinger equations and the laws of conservation of energy, momentum, and angular momentum. Mathematically, the Wigner-Eckert theorem is generally stated in the following way: Given a tensor operator T K display style t caret k and two states of angular momenta j display style j and j display style j there exists a constant j t k j Display style Langle J T carrot K J Wrangle such that for all M Display style M M Display style M and Q Display style Q The following equation is satisfied J M T Q K J M equals J M K Q J M J T K J Display style Langle J M T underscore Q carrot K J M Wrangle equals Langle J M K Q J M Wrangle Langle J T carrot K J Wrangle where T Q K Display style T underscore Q carrot K is the QTH component of the spherical tensor operator T K display style T caret K of rank K J M display style J M wrangle denotes an eigenstate of total angular momentum J two and its Z component J Z J M K Q J M display style Langle James Q J M wrangle is the Klebsch Gordon coefficient for coupling J with K to get J J T K J Display style Langle J T carrot K J Wrangle denotes some value that does not depend on M, M, nor Q and is referred to as the reduced matrix element. The Wigner Eckert theorem states indeed that operating with a spherical tensor operator of rank K on an angular momentum eigenstate is like adding a state with angular momentum K to the state. The matrix element one finds for the spherical tensor operator is proportional to a klebsch gordon coefficient, which arises when considering adding two angular momenta. When stated another way, one can say that the Wigner-Eckert theorem is a theorem that tells how vector operators behave in a subspace. Within a given subspace, a component of a vector operator will behave in a way proportional to the same component of the angular momentum operator. This definition is given in the book Quantum Mechanics by Cohen Tanuji, D.I.U. and Lillo. Topic: <laughs> Background and Overview. Topic. 
Motivating example, position operator matrix elements for 4D 2P transition. Let's say we want to calculate transition dipole moments for an electron to transition from a 4D to a 2P orbital of a hydrogen atom, i.e. the matrix elements of the form 2 P M 1 R I 4 D M 2 Display style Langle two P M underscore one R underscore I four D M underscore two Wrangle Where Re is either the X, Y, or Z component of the position operator, and M one, M two are the magnetic quantum numbers that distinguish different orbitals within the two P or four D subshell. If we do this directly, it involves calculating 45 different integrals. There are three possibilities for m1, minus 1, 0, 1, five possibilities for m2, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and three possibilities for i, so the total is 3 times 5 times 3 equals 45. The Wigner Eckert theorem allows one to obtain the same information after evaluating just one of those 45 integrals, any of them can be used, as long as it is non zero. Then the other 44 integrals can be inferred from that first one without the need to write down any wave functions or evaluate any integrals with the help of Klebsch Gordon coefficients, which can be easily looked up in a table or computed by hand or computer. Topic. Qualitative summary of proof The Wigner Eckert theorem works because all 45 of these different calculations are related to each other by rotations. If an electron is in one of the 2p orbitals, rotating the system will generally move it into a different 2p orbital, usually, it will wind up in a quantum superposition of all three basis states, m equals plus 1, 0, minus 1. Similarly, if an electron is in one of the 4d orbitals, rotating the system will move it into a different 4d orbital. Finally, an analogous statement is true for the position operator. When the system is rotated, the three different components of the position operator are effectively interchanged or mixed. If we start by knowing just one of the 45 values, say, we know that 2 p m 1 r i 4 D M two equals K Display style Langle two P M underscore one R underscore I four D M underscore two Wrangle equals K and then we rotate the system, we can infer that K is also the matrix element between the rotated version of two P M one display style Langle two p m underscore one the rotated version of r i display style r underscore i and the rotated version of four d m two Display style 4d m underscore 2 wrangle. This gives an algebraic relation involving k and some or all of the 44 unknown matrix elements. Different rotations of the system lead to different algebraic relations, and it turns out that there is enough information to figure out all of the matrix elements in this way. In practice, when working through this math, we usually apply angular momentum operators to the states, rather than rotating the states. But this is fundamentally the same thing, because of the close mathematical relation between rotations and angular momentum operators. In terms of representation theory 
To state these observations more precisely and to prove them, it helps to invoke the mathematics of representation theory. For example, the set of all possible 4D orbitals i.e., the five states m equals minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and their quantum superpositions form a five-dimensional abstract vector space. Rotating the system transforms these states into each other, so this is an example of a group representation. In this case, the five-dimensional irreducible representation irrep, of the rotation group SU or SO3, also called the spin-2 representation. Similarly, the 2p quantum states form a three-dimensional irrep called spin-1. And the components of the position operator also form the three-dimensional spin-1 irrep. Now consider the matrix elements 2 p m 1 r i 4 d m 2 Display style Langle two P M underscore one R underscore I four D M underscore two Wrangle. It turns out that these are transformed by rotations according to the direct product of those three representations, i.e. the spin-1 representation of the 2p orbitals, the spin-1 representation of the components of R, and the spin-2 representation of the 4d orbitals. This direct product, a 45-dimensional representation of SU is not an irreducible representation, instead it is the direct sum of a spin-4 representation, two spin-3 representations, three spin-2 representations, two spin-1 representations, and a spin-0 representation. The nonzero matrix elements can only come from the spin-0 subspace. The wigner eckert theorem works because the direct product decomposition contains one and only one spin zero subspace, which implies that all the matrix elements are determined by a single scale factor. Apart from the overall scale factor, calculating the matrix element 2 p m 1 r i 4 d m 2 display style langle 2 p m underscore 1 r underscore i 4 d m underscore 2 wrangle is equivalent to calculating the projection of the corresponding abstract vector in 45 dimensional space onto the spin 0 subspace the results of this calculation are the Klebsch-Gordon coefficients. The key qualitative aspect of the Klebsch-Gordon decomposition that makes the argument work is that in the decomposition of the tensor product of two irreducible representations, each irreducible representation occurs only once. This allows Schur's lemma to be used. Topic. Proof. Starting with the definition of a spherical tensor operator, we have J plus or minus T Q K equals K Q K plus or minus Q plus one T Q plus or minus one K display style J underscore PM T underscore Q carrot K equals H B A R S Q R T K M P Q K P M Q plus one T underscore Q P M one carrot K which we use to then calculate J M J plus or minus T Q K J 
M equals K Q K plus or minus Q plus one J M T Q plus or minus one K J M Display style begin aligned and Langle J M J underscore PM T underscore Q carrot K J M Wrangle equals H B A R S Q R T K M P Q K P M Q plus one Langle J M T underscore Q P M one carrot K J M Wrangle End aligned if we expand the commutator on the LHS by calculating the action of the J plus or minus on the bra and ket, then we get J M J plus or minus T Q K J M equals J plus or minus M J M plus one J M one T Q K J M Minus J M J plus or minus M plus one J M T Q K J M plus or minus one. Display style begin aligned Langle J M J underscore P M T underscore Q carrot K J M Wrangle equals and H S slash S Q R T J P M M J M P M plus one Langle J M M P one T underscore Q carrot K J M Wrangle and H S slash S Q R T J M P M J P M M plus one Angle J M T underscore Q carrot K J M P M one Wrangle End aligned. We may combine these two results to get J plus or minus M J M plus one J M one T Q K J M equals J M J plus or minus M plus one J M T Q K J M plus or minus one plus K Q K plus or minus Q plus one J M T Q plus or minus one K J M Display style begin aligned SQRT J PMM J MPM plus one Langle J MMP one T underscore Q carrot K J M Wrangle equals and SQRT J MPM J PMM plus one Langle J M T underscore Q carrot K J M PM one Wrangle and plus SQRT K MPQ K P M Q plus one Langle J M T underscore Q P M one carrot K J M Wrangle end aligned this recursion relation for the matrix elements closely resembles that of the Klebsch Gordon coefficient. In fact, both are of the form C ab C X C equals zero. We therefore have two sets of linear homogeneous equations, CAB, CXC equals zero, CAB, CYC equals zero. Display style begin aligned sum underscore C A underscore B C X underscore C and equals zero and sum underscore C A underscore B C Y underscore C and equals zero end aligned one for the Klebsch Gordon coefficients X C and one for the matrix elements Y C. It is not possible to exactly solve for X C.
We can only say that the ratios are equal, that is x c x d equals y c y d display style frac x underscore c x underscore d equals frac y underscore c y underscore d or that x c y c, where the coefficient of proportionality is independent of the indices. Hence, by comparing recursion relations, we can identify the Klebsch-Gordon coefficient j1 m1 j2 m2 plus or minus 1 j m with the matrix element j m t k q plus or minus 1 j m. Then we may write j m t q plus or minus 1 k J M J M K Q plus or minus one J M Display style Langle J M T underscore Q P M one carrot K J M Wrangle Propto Langle J M K Q P M one J M Wrangle Topic Alternative Conventions There are different conventions for the reduced matrix elements. One convention, used by Racka and Wigner, includes an additional phase and normalization factor J M T Q K J M equals minus 1 2 K J M K Q J M J T K J R two J plus one equals minus one J minus M J K J minus M Q M J T K J R display style Langle J M T underscore Q carrot K J M Wrangle equals F R A C minus one carrot two K Langle J M K Q J M Wrangle Langle J T carrot K J Wrangle underscore Mathem R S Q R T two J plus one equals minus one carrot J M begin P matrix J and K and J M and Q and M end P matrix Langle J T carrot K J Wrangle underscore Mathem R where the two times three array denotes the three J symbol. Since in practice K is often integral, the minus one two K factor is sometimes omitted in literature. With this choice of normalization, the reduced matrix element satisfies the relation J T K J R equals minus 1 K plus J minus J J T K J R Display style Langle J T carrot dagger K J Wrangle underscore Mathem R equals minus one carrot K plus J J Langle J T carrot K J Wrangle underscore Mathem R carrot asterisk Where the Hermitian adjoint is defined with the K minus Q convention. Although this relation is not affected by the presence or absence of the minus 1 2k phase factor in the definition of the reduced matrix element, it is affected by the phase convention for the Hermitian adjoint. Another convention for reduced matrix elements is that of Sakurai's modern quantum mechanics. J 
m t q k j m equals j m k q j m j t k j s 2 j plus 1 Display style Langle J M T underscore Q carrot K J M Wrangle equals F R A C Langle J M K Q J M Wrangle Langle J T carrot K J Wrangle underscore Mathem S S Q R T two J plus one Topic Example Consider the position expectation value NJM, X, NJM. This matrix element is the expectation value of a Cartesian operator in a spherically symmetric hydrogen atom eigenstate basis, which is a non-trivial problem. However, the wigner eckert theorem simplifies the problem, in fact, we could obtain the solution quickly using parity, although a slightly longer route will be taken. We know that x is one component of R, which is a vector. Since vectors are rank 1 spherical tensor operators, it follows that x must be some linear combination of a rank 1 spherical tensor T1 q with q element of minus 1, 0, 1. In fact, it can be shown that x equals T minus 1 1 minus t 1 1 2 display style x equals frac t underscore minus 1 caret 1 t underscore 1 caret 1 sqrt 2 where we define the spherical tensors as t q 1 equals 4 pi 3 r y 1 q display style t underscore q caret 1 equals sqrt frac 4 pi 3 ry underscore 1 caret q and YLM are spherical harmonics, which themselves are also spherical tensors of rank L. Additionally, T1 O equals Z, and T plus or minus 1 1 equals X plus or minus I Y 2 Display style t underscore pm one caret one equals mp frac x pm i y sqrt two. Therefore, n j m x n j m equals equals n J M T minus one one minus T one one two N J M equals equals 1 2 n j t 1 n j j m 1 minus 1 j m minus j m 1 1 j m display style begin aligned and langle n j m x n j m wrangle equals and equals left langle n j m left frac t underscore minus 1 carrot 1 t underscore 1 carrot 1 sqrt 2 
two right N J M right wrangle equals and equals FRAC one SQRT two Langle N J T carrot one in J wrangle big Langle J M one minus one J M wrangle Langle J M one one J M wrangle big end aligned the above expression gives us the matrix element for X in the NJM basis. To find the expectation value, we set in topic N J J and M topic M the selection rule for M and M is M plus or minus one. M for the T one plus or minus one spherical tensors. As we have M equals M, this makes the Klebsch-Gordon coefficients zero, leading to the expectation value to be equal to zero. Equals. Topic. See also. Equals. Tensor operator Landay G-factor <laughs>